Sometimes there are safety considerations on site that you need to think about, including deer stands. On sites that have hunting leases, oftentimes you'll find deer stands or other types of equipment on the site that you need to try to avoid. So what we're doing right now is we're gonna bring the fire up to the stand and try to go around it to avoid uh, damaging the stand at all. that burn for a minute before we get it out. It's kind of hot. I don't really want to mess with it. Crank it up. Alright, crank me up. One of the things that we're trying to do right now is to use the leaf blower to keep the flames from getting too close to that deer stand. So he's just trying to use the leaf blower to push those flames away from it so that we don't damage the stand. Here we have a deer stand on site. This, is, this property has a hunting lease, so oftentimes you'll find that deer stands may be on site. You want to be, be sure to avoid damaging them at all. So right now they're just using the shovel to help put the fire out from around the bottom of the deer stand. You can go around the outside of the stand to make sure that the flames don't get too high and then move on with your line from there. So right now we're just trying to keep the, the flames at a very low level and to have the flames avoiding touching the stand at all. Try this again. Right now I'm just going to use the shovel to make sure that the flames aren't jumping this little line that we just created to make sure that the flames don't come on to the deer stand at all. We want to try to avoid any damage to the stand if at all possible. So go ahead and walk all that line, make sure everything's good. Check, I need to know from about getting close to that swampy area. Mm -hmm. I need to know from there across past I where they went. Mm -hmm. I need to know how many feet of black we've got. Okay. Okay. And probably what I'm going to do to tell you is if you find, you know, any significant um, black all the way around, and I mean, look for some patches where it maybe didn't burn too good. Um, but anyway, what I'm probably going to do is tell you to come from that corner and you're gonna head I believe you might be able from over there you might be able to see this little gap where these pines are uh -huh. so there's a big magnolia there but there's no trees there for a minute so it's a complete loss of tree line right right there where that broom stage is on the left mm -hmm. so that's where you're gonna want to head from that corner so it doesn't really matter as long as you head from I and you head pretty much directly into the sun. Um, once you get close, you can turn and try to hit that corner and we'll see what it does. Cause if it gets out here, well, I mean, I got the truck over there and it ain't gonna wanna go across that ditch too hard anyway. And 
if it burns, I don't think but Gary's going to care. Take a strip across. Yeah, so take your torch with you. Go ahead and walk the line. If everything's good, call me back. Say, yeah, we got 50 feet of black or whatever. Like, all right. So then you'll, you know, walk into the fire, grab some fire, and try to come out somewhere right over there. Okay. Okay. Hey, Robert, you're not going to need to check on black when you get there. It looks good. You just need to check the line. He's gonna. He's coming from basically that tall pine tree. He's gonna be coming right across here and come out at these pines down here. So we won't really have fire racing our way, but you'll see right here. All this air is clear, and you'll see smoke, and you know you'll see fire out there, and you'll see smoke coming up on a direct line out to there here in a minute. So norm, and because he's lighting hotter fire. It won't be gray smoke like their smoke is. It'll be smoke more like this, this darker gray smoke. 